Hey guys, I was going through my bookmarks and then I discovered this uh, traverse.link project and it seemed interesting enough to warrant a video. So let's uh, get started here and sign up using Google. So it looks like it's a React application. This is your home scheme here. You can view the courses you're studying, click new lesson. It's like creating a new course. So we'll call this Kana because we're learning that. Yeah, we'll add uh, Hiragana here and then click that okay um, and then let's create i'm gonna just add a few just to have something e uh e -u -e -o. we had a question and let's save there active recall so if i click that how do i find it okay so it remembers the selection that's nice add a question let's mark this there let's review the questions or actually click preview so this is the document itself Complete lessons, review questions. Ah, uh, bam, E. I think this UI actually looks pretty nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment so you can publish. Let's first see if we can find something. Uh, code using only to learn APIs. That's interesting. I like that it has this continue. It kind of reminds me of the super memo learn where you can learn a topic or concept something and then progress before you come into the review. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think the questions are probably going to show up here at the end. No, oh no, actually it just has lesson. Okay, well, oh, here's the explore. Let's see if we can find um, zero to soul. Let's try that one. Is it the book? It's a mini course about the book. Try some lessons before you buy. So you read, read, and then you get to review. Let's say, right? And then you progress. So I, I think this is a very interesting concept. So you can basically create your courses, figure out what the student is supposed to learn and then set up uh, questions and uh, the student it themselves could also continue, right? I could, could I just, no, so it looks like it's the course creator who basically creates the questions and uh, everything. You can do one more course and then we can wrap up. Learn to think like Warren Buffett. Actually, let's go back here. Looks like you can jump between the sections. What? Yeah, so I'm obviously not understanding the user interface, but you can either review after you've been, what are the two main purposes of mental model thinking? Mapping and packing. Nope. <laughs> uh, critical thinking, mental models. Oh. Mental models systems so that's the closed deletion i'm actually curious like um how do they create closed deletion cards here these are just questions right to the format but do we have anyone here which is uh i'm trying to see if we can figure out let's go back here and review the questions this one is a closed deletion what is the world is a patchwork yeah here this is why I see there are three dots. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay. I see. He probably just changed it, right? So if we go back to um, uh, Kana here, we can add. Uh, let's create. Um, let's actually create a new course. Greetings in Japanese. I'm starting to get how it works now. So you would say um, morning. Say, for example, that. And let's say Ohio Gozaimas. And uh, and we can add yeah, so you can actually write uh, morning in Japanese. Dot dot dot. So that's probably how he's doing closed deletions, I guess, from what I understood it. I don't think they actually have real support for closed deletions because then we're gonna yeah that looks like it looks like that's the way they're doing it you can check one more time
yeah so you can see it's not actually replacing that so it seems interesting uh definitely uh want to play around more with it this might be useful with um i don't know if it has any importing feature does it have that no so it looks like you have to create the courses yourselves but that was an interesting tool um let me know what you guys think of uh, traverse.link i'll add the link in the description and check it out if you want to play around with a different tool so it's definitely different than anki maybe some of you see a use case for this if you're working together um as a in a group so it is a paid product, right? I don't know what the limitations are currently. I haven't really used it that much, but uh, it looks like a different user interface for uh, using space repetition. And uh, I like the courses concept there where you basically can learn material. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next. Bye.